issue, which is going to be the articular genu. All right, we're looking for the articulatus genu, which is quite deep and pulls the suprapatellar bursa out of the way as the knee cap or patella glides superiorly with knee extension. So it doesn't have much bulk to it and notice how much pressure needs to be there in order to get deep. And also coming from the lateral side, pushing rectus femoris out of the way, as well as the intermedialis. Okay, so here's the super patella pouch just there, in that horseshoe shape, and then getting deep to that. Okay, and there's a lot of connective tissue here that you got to kind of work your way through. Certain amount of knee flexion. If I show you guys here, as I create more bend, okay, still on articulatus genu. Again, the layering effect can work in opposition here as he flexes the knee, and then you're going to get a layering effect as the passive tissue tension is going to push his thumb out of the palpable space for articulatus genu. It's not hugely clinically indicated anyway, unless you have a superpeller issue. Okay, clinical relevance of articulatus genu is quite rare, but if you have a superior a limitation in the superior glide of the patella, that, that may significantly um, be limited there and be an area that you would target with your manual treatment if necessary.